Well, good morning. Shall we have prayer together? Most gracious and loving God, we are in awe of you, for we are in awe of one another in this time together, drawn together in that same way that Trent just taught our children by a love that never lets us go. This brings us to such great awe. So help us to be 100% present in that, in this very moment, and how our hearts and minds can be open to your living word. Make it so, O oh God, not by our will, but by yours. For we pray these things in the name of Christ who gathers us this day. Amen. So here are these words that come from the Gospel of Matthew. We know them well, perhaps, from the greatest sermon that was ever given, but hear them anew this day. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of God for the people of God. God is still speaking. Thanks be to God. Big day today. We observe All Saints Day. It's where we remember the saints who've gone on before us, the people who set an example for us about living well in this time between the already and the not yet. There's a collection of scriptures for All Saints Day as well, and one of them is Matthew 5, verses 1 through, verses 1 through 12, the, those Beatitudes that we just heard, where we get those blessed R's from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. It connects those Beatitudes with the saints. Blessed are those we love who've died, for they were truly poor in spirit. They mourned harder than anybody. They were big time meek, meeker than most. I mean, they were the meekest. They hungered and thirsted for righteousness like baby birds with open mouths waiting for their mama to come and feed them. The problem with that connection is that it implies that our saints were perfect. And we know that they weren't. My grandma Stone was just as compassionate as she was irritable. <laughs> My childhood pastor, Browning Ware, was just as gentle and wise in the pulpit as he was unapproachable and intimidating in person. For every hug that my grandpa Matt gave me, and for every time that he affectionately called me his little lamb, he smoked at least 10 cigarettes. <laughs> Our saints are not perfect, but they are indeed blessed. And the good news is that the saints are not blessed in spite of their imperfections, but because of them. Hang on to that. You see, when Jesus got up on the mountaintop, he was surrounded by people who had been told by the Roman Empire that they were nobodies. People who had been taught by the religious elites that they were unclean, less than, not good enough in the eyes of God because they didn't practice the laws of God perfectly enough. And when you internalize a message like that so much that is fed to you by those that are up here in your mind, and when your poverty from being relentlessly taxed by those authority figures keeps you from doing the privileged things that make you perfect by their definition, when that is your lot in life, then how can you help but be just a little bit irritable? How can you help but hide your self-loathing behind a tough exterior that that makes you unapproachable and intimidating. Maybe that's all you can do. 
Maybe you even turn to whatever vice soothes your troubled soul to relieve that troubled feeling. But Jesus saw how the people had been duped. So he stood up on that mountaintop and preached a sermon to help them unlearn that toxic message that says that you've got to be perfect to win God's favor. And Jesus told the people, what this world teaches you is blemished. God recognizes as blessed. What this world sees as imperfect about you, God sees as something beautiful. <laughs> what this world insists is a waste of time and a hindrance to success. You know, things like saying a kind word, like generating community, like serving people, like showing love above all else, that stuff. God declares as good and urgently necessary and needing to come out. You are blessed, Jesus says, because of who you are, warts and all. So claim your blessing. Claim your blessing and live your life with an unapologetic confidence in how you love God and how you love yourself and how you love your neighbor as yourself. And so now we're going to hear some modern day Beatitudes. Reverend Nadia Boltz Weber is the pastor of House for All Sinners and Saints Lutheran Church in Denver, Colorado. She preached a sermon for All Saints Day where she offered some modern day Beatitudes and several members of Friends Congregational Church in our Morning Manna class, in our Social Justice class, in the choir, in the youth group. They listened to that sermon and some of them came up with some modern day Beatitudes of their own that speak to our time and context. And this one adult who contributed a few modern day Beatitudes e emailed them to Pastor Trent and said, what a fun exercise. I've been looking around all day wondering who Jesus would bless if he was here. And it made my day a little bit more grace-filled. And that's the idea. Because as Nadia Bols Weber writes, Jesus brings a kingdom ruled by the crucified one and populated by the unclean and always found in the unexpected. This kingdom of heaven, she writes, which Jesus talked about all the time, is, as he said, here, at hand, it's now, wherever you are, in ways you'd never expect. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who live in pain because they can't afford appropriate health care. Blessed are those who work two or three jobs but still don't earn enough to pay the bills. Blessed are those without homes, for when the world says there is no room at the inn, God finds another place. Blessed are those who can't afford simple recreational activities with friends. Blessed are the parents who can't afford to buy a birthday cake or present for their child. Blessed is the promising high school senior whose parents can't afford college application fees. Blessed are those who live in houses with no heat or air conditioning, with holes in the floors and inadequate plumbing. Blessed are those who live under bridges and in cars. Blessed are the elderly who believe that they have no worth anymore. Blessed are women who fear for their lives at the hands of their husbands in their own homes. Blessed are those who live in fear because of their loved one's immigration status. Blessed are those who have disabilities that cannot be seen. Blessed are those who are struggling with a mental illness, for they will find peace. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are those who are not in good relations with their parents. Blessed is the family who is living with a disability and don't feel included in church. Blessed are those who don't make good grades, for they will be comforted and supported. Blessed are those who are struggling through divorce proceedings, for they will find peace. Blessed are those who face the sorrow of Alzheimer's, for they will overcome. Blessed are those who cry in the shower so their abusers can't hear them. God is listening and knows that you are doing the best you can in a seemingly impossible situation. Know that all things are possible, even happiness. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed is the grass that always grows again after being mowed. Blessed is your mind and body, for it should be honored. Blessed are those who work and live in public while feeling misunderstood and alone in private. Blessed are the pastors who develop thick skin to preserve their, their servant's heart. 
Blessed are the old men drinking coffee around the table at Shipley's and trying to make sense of the world together. Blessed are the overlooked, because if they can't see you, they can't stop you. Blessed are the teachers, for they will reap their dividends in a brighter future for all of us. Blessed are the sanitation workers, because they let us maintain our illusions. <laughs> Blessed are those who feel ignored, for they, have always, they will always be seen by God. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the protesters, for God knows that they have their work cut out for them. Blessed are those who strive for the best, for even the smallest things can be rewarding. Blessed are those who spend their time helping others, for they will find they have all the time they need. Blessed are the children of doctors and nurses, for they sacrifice their own time with their parents to bless other people's children. Blessed are the wrung out, the tapped out, the bone deep weary, those who continuously pour themselves out for others with scant praise or thanks received, for God loves nothing more than to fill an empty vessel. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are those who speak with love. Blessed are those who forgive first and ask questions later. Blessed are those who stand by those who can't stand for themselves. Blessed are those who have been taught to hate themselves because they are worthy of love. Blessed are the wait staff, for they understand the difficulty of diffusing hostility with grace and the importance of generosity. Blessed are those who struggle to forgive. May their thirst for justice feel change in a world where justice is sometimes hard to find. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are those who truly love, as God has loved us, no matter how difficult it may be. Blessed are those who always show up late, but never miss a meeting. Blessed are those who look at people's souls instead of their labels. Blessed are the parents who love their children unconditionally, for they is thy kingdom come. Blessed are the forgivers, for their souls will not corrode from bitterness. Blessed are the skeptical, for they will be spared the dangers of blind faith. Blessed are the children who interrupt adults during the children's message, for theirs is the voice of the divine. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who speak for those whose voices are intentionally silenced. Blessed are the parents that strive to improve the lives of children who are not of blood relation. Blessed are the sarcastic. No, really. Blessed are the ones who stop bullying. Blessed are the people who donate their things to people in need. Blessed are the Sunday school teachers of children and youth, for they are nurturing seeds of compassion and love, the branches under which they themselves may never take shade. Blessed are the baristas, from the corporate coffee shop to the volunteers making fresh pots early in the morning at church, for they keep the devil inside all of us down in a hole. <laughs> Blessed is the school's crossing guard, defending children from anxious drivers, for they are the shepherds standing in the middle of busy streets, showing us what God looks like. Blessed are the words of James Baldwin, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. Blessed are they that understand that the arc of the moral universe is long, but still try to bend it toward justice just a little bit faster because sometimes not long seems too long to wait for equal justice for all, and keeping the dream alive is the only way for it to come true. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the LGBTQ, the refugees, the immigrants, the poor, the persecuted. Blessed are those who are deemed second-class citizens because of the color of their skin or the neighborhood they live. Blessed are those that are the world calls disabled. Blessed are the night shift nurses, because pain and fear work nights too. Blessed are those whose classmates call them stupid because learning is difficult for them. Blessed is the college student who is pressured to assimilate to the culture in order to fit in. Blessed are those who feel like they can't reveal their true identity. Blessed are the non-traditional families, for they will be accepted. Blessed are the children of preachers, whether they like it or not. <laughs> Every Sunday in front of a crowd. <laughs> Blessed are those who stand up for what is right, even if they risk being mocked. Blessed are those who are victims of abuse, for they may not know how they should be loved. 
Blessed are those who are called illegal aliens, for they are human too. Blessed are the ones bullied off of Twitter when they raise questions that make people uncomfortable. Blessed are those who feel socially pressured, for they will always be protected and shielded by God. Beloved community, today is Stewardship Sunday. It's a day when we commit again to God and one another through our pledges of time and talent. Today, in honor of the saints who've gone before us, let the way of Jesus inform our commitments. We don't give our money and volunteerism and prayers in order to become more blessed. We give these things because we are blessed, and we want the world to know that it too is blessed. So, blessed are those who commit however they can, with whatever they can, for they will be used by God to be a blessing to those who need it most. Amen.